Welcome to Clever 3.0. Clever enables architects, engineers and designers to use existing models to create high-quality interactive 3D presentations. In this video, we'll see how easy it is to create such a presentation. We will be using this free model from the SketchUp 3D Warehouse, which you can find at bit.ly forward slash Clever House. You can export the model from SketchUp directly into Clever. To do this, you'll need to have the Clever plugin installed. This is free and can be found in the SketchUp extension warehouse. Just type Clever into the search field or go directly to bit.ly forward slash Clever plugin. To install the plugin, open SketchUp and go to the Window menu. Choose Preferences. Now click Install Extension. Select the extension and click Open. A dialog will pop up asking if you want the extension to access the file system. Click Yes. The extension is now ready to use. Click OK to close the system preferences. Now open the house model in SketchUp. When you go to the File menu, you will see that a new option to Open in Clever has appeared. When you click it, SketchUp will automatically launch Clever in a new browser window. If you aren't already logged into the site, Clever will prompt you to do so, or to create an account. You can do this for free. Now you need to choose the scene template into which to import the model. I'm going to use the Architecture Daylight 8am preset. When you click Create, Clever will automatically begin to create the scene. This can take a few seconds depending on the speed of your internet connection. Once the scene has loaded, it should look something like this. You can see that Clever has imported the model and automatically set up lights and cameras. There are also two steps set up in the scene. These are used to create your presentation. You can think of them as being like the slides in a PowerPoint presentation. Each step has a camera view associated with it. When the viewer clicks on the forward and back arrows in the interface, the presentation will switch to the new camera view. Let's see this in action. To do this, we need to preview the presentation. Go to the Project menu and click Preview. As you can see, I can switch between the two steps and their camera views at will. Now let's customise the presentation. We're going to create a new button in the interface to show the viewer the floor plan of the house. First, we need to create a new step for the floor plan. Right click on Step 1 and select Duplicate. You can see the properties of the new step on the right of the screen. I'm going to call it Floor Plan. Now click the Presentation menu and then the Cameras button to see the cameras in the scene. Because the new step is a copy of Step 1, Clever has duplicated the orbital camera associated with it. We want to create a new camera view, so click on Orbital Cam 2. Again, you can see its settings on the right of the screen. We want to view the building from above, so go to the X field of the camera rotation settings and type in a value of 30. You can see that the slide on the left of the screen has also updated automatically. To display the floor plan, we're going to create a cross section. Go to the Insert menu and click Section. Now click anywhere in the viewport. Clever will ask you which object in the scene you want to assign the cross section to. Choose Geometry Instance 1, which is the default name for the house model. The section plane appears in the viewport. If I move it up and down by clicking and dragging on the blue handle, you can see it slicing through the model. If you position it at around 5 units in the z-axis, it should show the layout of the ground floor. We only want the cross-section to be visible on the floor plan step of the presentation, so from the Show in Steps drop-down, select One Step, and then Floor Plan. Now let's create a button in the interface to display the new camera view. Go to the Insert menu 
and click on Button, then 2D Button. Click anywhere in the viewport to create it. You can see that Clever has automatically opened a drop-down of ready-made button graphics. We're going to use a custom image, so go to the drop-down by its side and choose Image. When you click on the little up arrow, you will be able to browse for custom images. I'm going to be using this one. It's an image I created in Photoshop and saved as a PNG file. You can see that the button has appeared at the top left of the screen. Let's reposition it. From the UI Position drop-downs, choose Center and Bottom. To move it up from the bottom edge of the screen, type a value of 35 pixels in the Y field. We want the button to display the floor plan step of the presentation when the viewer clicks on it, so go to the Events drop-down and select Go to Step. From the new drop-down to its right, select Floor Plan. We want to hide the button once the floor plan is on display, so from the Show in Steps drop-down, choose Custom. Uncheck Floor Plan and select Steps 1 and 2 instead. If you like, you can preview the presentation again to check that everything is working correctly, but we're just going to publish it. Go to the Project menu and click Publish. When the Publish Project dialog appears, click the Publish button. Again, the process can take a few seconds. When everything is complete, Clever will display a hyperlink where you can view your published presentation. As you can see, you can use the forward and back arrows to control the presentation in the same way as before. Alternatively, you can click on the new button to show the floor plan. And that's it! You've just created your first interactive presentation with Clever.